Here we go. What was that? What is that? What is that? That doesn't sound good. What is that noise? So I'm testing out my bike. Uh, I got a bike blogger here. Oop. Quite cold. Uh, testing out my bike for bike noises. We'll see how I do. Uh, if there is a if there is a really annoying uh, bike noise, then I'm not going to upload this video, but otherwise I will go ahead and upload this video. Quick tip, watch out for wet paint. You're more likely to fall. You're also more likely to fall if you're going fast and wet surfaces like this. We're hovering right around freezing. Freezing point for water, so there could be some slick patches, some uh, some ice on bridges. Gotta be careful. Just be aware of it. Although uh, tomorrow we might be getting down into single digits uh, wind chill. So uh, and the, and the ground's been cold for a while. So there will be ice in the next couple of days for sure. Woo. Just another week night with the bike blogger. Woo. This guy's waiting up here, so if I go a little slower, maybe I don't have to stop. Yeah, it looks like looks like I won't have to stop. Cool. Woo. Da -da -da -da, bike lane. Da -da 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 -da. Riding in the bike lane. Just gotta watch out for that paint on the road. You could hurt yourself. Woo! A little painted bike man on the on the ground there is a little well dangerous when wet. I wonder if anyone's really thought about that before. Like when they put paint in the middle of the road, like, uh, I mean, usually you don't have to worry about it if you're going straight and you're not making a turn. I wonder if anyone has thought about that for bicyclists, like, if they put a little, uh, or maybe they normally do this, I don't know, put a little sand or grit or something in the paint to make it more, uh, sticky, I guess, so it's not gonna, you know, so you're not gonna lose friction going over the paint. But I don't know if that ruins the paint finish or whatnot. Just a thought, just throwing ideas out there. Woo! It is cold and it's a ghost town tonight. Oh my gosh, it is cold. Woo! Da -da -da -da. So, what are we gonna talk about tonight? What should we talk about tonight? See, the last video I talked about bicycle tires and what you should use. Uh, I'm using just regular road tires right now. Here go left, yeah. Uh, just gotta be aware of these turns. Never break when you're turning. Break early and then turn. It's just an old, you know, an old tip, really. I mean, that's what they do for uh, race car driving and anything else, really. I mean, a bike's just the same thing, basically. It runs on a pneumatic tire filled with air and rubber compound. So, same rules apply. Let's go this way. Just chilling on the uphill right now. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Whew. See, I'm getting a little extra riding in tonight because normally, you know, I do most of my cycling when I'm commuting, but occasionally I'll do a little extra cycling, especially if I know the next day is going to be real bad and I'm really not going to want to be out for long. I'm really just going to take the shortest route from point A to point B from home to work, work to home. I 
I'm not going to extend my commute at all. So I think tonight is an excellent night to do that because tomorrow it's going to be half as warm. You know, instead of 30 Fahrenheit, it's going to be 15. And it's going to be real cold. Real cold. Really windy too, supposedly. So all this water on the ground, it's not really going anywhere right now. It's going to turn to ice. And then it's going to be windy. I mean, that's like the worst. It's not only is it slippery, you're getting blown around by the wind. <laughs> Whew. the hair. So yeah, tonight, in this video, we're going to see what sort of bike noises we got. This is my rain bike. My newish, newest bicycle uh, with the fenders. I've been having quite a bit of difficulty getting all the bike noises out of this bike. Uh, and it's primarily the fenders. Um, yeah, the fenders don't rattle, but you know, if I'm going over some aggressive, you know, ground, they do make a little noise. And I get, uh, I get real picky about that. So let's go this way. I'm gonna go a little downhill here. Uphill is really not a problem. I mean, you know, yeah, you gotta climb and it's, it's a good workout. But downhill, downhill is where it's at. Downhill is dangerous. So, take it easy on the downhills, everybody. Uh, I don't think I've fallen. Let's not jinx it. Uh, skeleton fingers. Uh, I don't think I've fallen, or maybe I have fallen. I have to go back and check my playlist of all my crashes. I haven't really fallen on a hill before, however, there was one time in the winter, like, you know, kind of this time of the year, when it's all rainy, and it's all wet outside, and I was doing a tight turn on 23 millimeter wide tires, and I uh, got some road rash, some pretty bad road rash, and had a a bunch of stitches all up my arm and that was at, and that was wearing a coat so yeah uh, I know they always say there's a correct way to fall and a wrong way to fall but I mean yeah you don't want to you don't want to break your head you don't want to break your shoulder even though I <laughs> I did dislocate my shoulder not too long ago uh, you now these things happen um, you're not really any less likely, maybe you're a little less likely to get hurt if you're going slower, mainly because you have more chance to react, but primarily, you know, you're, going, you're safer when you're going slower just because you're not going as fast, you know, you, when you fall off the bike, you know, you're not traveling at such a fast speed that a lot can happen when you're tumbling around on the ground. Uh, but anyway, this video is about bike noise, so... Uh, I don't know. Do we hear any noise, bike vlogger? If there's just some annoying noise, we're gonna have to, uh... Delete this video. Delete this video. Woo. Let's go straight. I keep kind of looking behind me. I do have a mirror on my bike, but keep looking behind me because I see the lights from you know the light poles and stuff and I keep thinking maybe it's a car but it is very quiet out here very quiet mid February win mid winter mid winter mid winter's night dream or whatever mid, mid summer's night dream whatever where do the cars go where the bicyclists go? Where the pedestrians go? Where the animals go? Where is everybody? It's only bike blogger! Where are you all? I'm lonely! There's probably people in there attending to the animals at the zoo. Hey, there's somebody. And there's another person. I'm not all alone in the universe. Woo! 
Well, maybe I'm the only cyclist. <laughs> oh my. Back to hell. Back to hell. Bunch of bamboo to the right. Well, not anymore. I just passed it. So another thing with this bike, bike noise related, let's see. I can't really hear it right now. Whew. But I was getting brake rub. Ugh, what was that? Just rolled right through it. Whew. Well, there goes a car. It goes behind me. And now we're apart again. We're apart again. There was a car behind me, but he was way back there. Because I'm so fast. I'm so fast. Woo. Am I making any sense? Do I even know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, bike blocker. What are you talking about? <laughs> I switched the brake pads. I was using some uh, cool stop. Oh, man. What are they? Thin lines, some really long, long lengthwise brake pads. And they didn't seem, I don't know, they just didn't seem to fit because I don't think they're meant for these calipers. These calipers, these TRPs, cyclocross rim brakes, I think they're meant for like road pads, like for a regular road bike. Uh, because I put back on some road pads, not the stock ones, the stock TRPs, the Tetro, Tetro, they're kind of stinky, I think. Let's go this way. All right, so my uh, my battery died on me, so here we go. What was that? What was that? What is that? That doesn't sound good. What is that noise? Let's slow it down real slow here. Bike blogger was hearing a sad noise. It sounded like a puppy dog. What was that noise? Spin my wheel. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the noise was. It was probably, uh, it was probably, uh, whew, it was probably, um, just my brakes, uh, you know, wet rims, that sort of thing. All right, let's get going again. Here we go. <laughs> but no, what I was gonna say is, uh, that's the only problem with uh, trying to film while you're riding a bike is uh, the battery dies. Should I get rid of these batteries? I mean, honestly, I think I'm gonna chuck them. It gets to a point where there's like so little battery life in the battery after you've used it for, you know, years, <laughs> as I have. And you only get about, you know, five minutes out of a battery when it's cold outside. So it's like, ah. Might have to, uh, recycle or whatever the batteries. And, uh, just get some new batteries. Maybe use it as an opportunity to upgrade my camera. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, baby. Maybe, baby. Woo! So what was I talking about? I was talking about bike noises, SRAM, you know, they owning Zip. Don't know if they own Swiss Stop. But yeah, I got some uh, Swiss Stop brake pads. They're pretty good. I do also have some Cool Stop, the uh, classic uh, Salmon, sa Salmon, Salmon pads, the, the like uh, orange or pink or peach colored pads, brake pads that are better for the wet. Not maybe quite as effective in the dry, but uh, they aren't, I think they aren't as harsh on your rims. I will admit, yes, there are advantages to disc brakes, especially if maybe, I don't know, you live in a very wet climate where it's just always wet outside, it's always raining. I don't really, I live in about a moderate sort of a climate. It's, it's wet less than half the time, so I don't feel a need for the disc brakes. Uh, that's a whole nother topic in of itself, so. Anyway, I was just checking to see if I had any weird bike noises going on with this bike. I'll check back when I get home, and if I do, then 
back to the drawing board. We'll see you next time. Like and subscribe to Bike Vlogger. Oh yeah, what I was gonna say, uh, climbing out of the saddle, I've noticed some brake rub on my rims. Um, I think it was because, or I think it's because I have some loose spokes, so just need to give the spokes another quarter turn and then we should be good to go. Woo. Lap two, start.